up guys it's sassy assassin here back with another amberlyn reed reaction video so this video is meatloaf and mashed cauliflower eat with me mukbang and to recap the last video or which was her first mukbang of 2020 it was basically one massive hissy fit because this girl is so self-involved that she and she was so angry that we didn't give her the validation and the type of response that she was wanting based off her it was the comparison video that she did the the annoying one that was like a minute long and in that video she basically also threatened us with no more weight loss related videos because we don't appreciate her journey. <laughs> and what's ironic, what's funny to me is that in the video where she's doing the, the comparison, whatever, she claims that she's gained upwards to five pounds back. Which indicates to me that she's overeating again. And she's basically back on the, you know, down, on the downward, downward spiral. And I honestly believe that these freshly meals that she's doing now, from now on, is only going to be for mukbangs. I don't think it's going to be her, the normal. Because for her to gain, like, five pounds back, she would have to eat up towards to, in over, like, 6,000 calories. To, to maintain and to gain weight. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I really don't have any hope for her actually staying on this new weight loss kick, and I don't think it's sustainable. I don't think any diet is going to be sustainable for her until she changes her attitude. But that's something that I don't think is ever going to happen because for six year years, she's been on this platform. And for most of that six years, we've been telling her, like, dude, you need to change your attitude. And it's because it's, it's what's make you know, it's what's giving, getting you a lot of that negativity. And she thinks that, well, we hate her because she's fat. Maybe that's true for like a, min a minority of people who watch her, but a, a majority of us don't hate her because she's fat. We hate her because of her attitude, and yet she still just doesn't get it, and she's still running with the "you hate me because I'm fat" narrative. But you know, whatever, girl, you do you, boo. If 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 you if that what makes you feel better and val and 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 somehow validates you, whatever. But it's not true. And I want to think that maybe deep down she knows that. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she's just not smart enough to understand. Maybe she's too close to it where she doesn't have a, a good picture. I don't know. And also, I'm looking at this, this, this uh, setup. And I honestly think that the carrots and the two baby bell cheeses is too much for this meal. Like, she could have that later on the side, but I don't think she's eating very healthy anymore, and I think this, at this point, this is all for show. She's back on the cycle, you guys. She's, you know, she's doing what she does best, so let's just enjoy the ride, shall we? Hey, guys. So for what it's worth. Welcome to a new video. If you hear a little skit, scat, scat. Nobody cares. If I'm a little crooked, I'm sorry. I've been running around while my food was completed. I've been running around trying to find my tripod because Eric used it. Oh, you know, because, you know, you, you can't leave your, barely leave your food sitting there for too long, you know, because it's food. <laughs> and I could not find it, so. Sorry, that was a low blow. I'm sorry. If you're a little crooked, I apologize. Actually, you know what? I'm going to fix it because it's annoying. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I like her, her dress and her cardigan that's something that i would actually wear and I, i'm not even hating on the earrings either 
But why she doesn't do makeup? Like, why is she... Whatever. I bet you when Destiny and Dana come around, she's going to be dressed up to the nines again. So it's probably annoying y'all. I think I fixed it. Okay. So for my mukbangs, my new thing is I'm going to ask you guys for topics or subjects or questions that you want me to talk about. So it's going to be, I guess, a wide range, hopefully. <laughs> You do realize that most of those topic and questions is going to be scandal related or weight loss related. Nobody's going to be asking your opinion about the recent political situation. Nobody's going to ask you about whether you think the earth is flat or not, which she's a flat earther, you guys. You know, nobody's going to ask you any of those questions because nobody cares what you have to say on it. I mean, personally, I would be interested to hear what she has to say on certain things, like other, you know, and then scandal and weight loss related, just to see her just warped opinion. But, you know, at the same time, it's just like, what's the point, you know? And it's, I just find it hilarious, though, that she's asking the audience for, you know, ideas because she doesn't have any because she doesn't have a life this is all she does you guys this is her youtube is her entire life and maybe i sound a little bit bitter but it's not my intention to come off as bitter but you know i i know people who work a hell of a lot harder than she does and makes less money than she does and yet she she makes upwards of fifteen thousand dollars just to sit on her ass talk about stupid you know talk about stupid shit and complain about how she's not appreciated enough because she's a narcissist and she's making all that money. It just really boggles the mind, you know, that she, and she thinks her life is so hard. Like, girl, try working two jobs and, and getting minimum wage. Your life is easy. Stop complaining. So the first thing I want to talk about is before I even eat, I want to apologize. To oh the God, here we go. I was being rude and smug in my last. You video. were. That was definitely not my intention. Mm. I noticed that when I'm like upset about something, sometimes I act. A certain way which I really did not intend I oh bitch please it was you don't give a shit it was your intention to act like a bitch in that video because you wanted to, to you wanted to th throw a hissy fit you want to punish us because you're angry because you didn't get the validation that you so want because honestly Ember you don't have any self-esteem. You don't have any fucking personality. Like, you have sometimes what I call the dead inside look. <laughs> Sorry, I I'm being a bitch. But that video, it just kind of made, it, it, as hilarious as it was, it kind of angered me because just like, you know, for all the money that you make and how easy your life is, you sure as hell complain a lot. I was just really hurt that I uploaded a progress video and people were really rude to me about it. So I was upset about that. But I do apologize. Because it was obvious that you were just doing it to, to milk, milk your temporary weight loss situation and that <laughs> you gain upwards to five pounds. Like, how, how are we supposed to say... Why would, why would we in any way validate you why i mean why why does she feel the need i don't know why i'm asking why she she thinks that we all owe her something because she is that self-involved like <laughs> girl never change because you are too entertaining like seriously apologize for coming off a certain way mm -hmm. that I didn't mean to because that definitely wasn't my intention. I think I was just so hurt that I was kind of like, 
You threw a in that? Yeah, you were sulking and you threw a fucking hissy fit. Just call it what it is, girl, and stop trying to flower it up. Like God. And I wrote a lot of supportive messages and I just have to focus on those. And they made me realize that the people who are saying negative things <laughs> about a progress photo are people who don't genuinely truly care. Because if they did, they'd be like, oh wow, like that's Again, with this narrative that only people who give her positive attention really care about her, and the ones who give her any type of negative attention don't give a shit. Girl, if we didn't care about you, we wouldn't be watching. <laughs> Plain and simple. You just can't take constructive criticism, because it do if, it, and if it doesn't fit into your narrative, it's hate. And that is why you'll never get anywhere. You'll never succeed because you have a shitty attitude, a shitty outlook, and that's why you keep on w riding that merry-go-round on the fu that's the futility cycle, and you'll never get off that merry-go-round because you are too much of a self-involved narcissist. That's amazing type thing. Um, I've had a few people word it a lot better than how I'm wording it. So I do want to apologize to them. That's another thing. She wants to be a writer and she wants to be taken seriously as such. And she talks like she is in high school. Not even like senior year high school. I'm talking to like freshman, maybe sophomore. So the, to those who I really did affect because... I, I felt horrible for that. So oh, I'm sure. Oh, is I used? Uh, did you feel horrible before or after the paycheck? Like, girl, it's so funny how she still thinks that she can fool her audience. It's like, girl, who who are you trying to kid at this point? We all see behind the facade, girl. Like, just give it up already. Freshly mills and. The homestyle chicken with the butternut mac, which is the one that I had in my last video, that's one of my favorites, and this one. This is turkey and mushroom meatloaf, and I will let you know right now, I don't really taste the Another thing that, like another, I'm sorry, another thing that really bugs me is her terrible table etiquette. You know, I'm, I, I'm a girl that comes from a family who was taught proper table etiquette. Maybe it's because... You know, English, I'm not trying to make, put any stereotypes, but my, my mom, my parents taught us proper table etiquette. And if I ate like how she does, like my mom would smack my hands, I swear to God. Like mushrooms, it's okay. Or at least I think so. Because I don't really taste it. And then we have some carrots and peas. And this is cauliflower mash. Mmm. This one might actually be my number one favorite. They Why the hell does she not use a knife? And girl, chew your fucking food. Hot meals a lot, new meals come in, so you can never get bored. No wonder she's no wonder she's never full enough because she doesn't know how to chew her food properly. She's just like hum 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 like Foodie Beauty where she oh my god. Some of the some of the screenshots of Foodie Beauty during her mukbangs, like, oh my god. Hilarious. Chew your food. I will be Oh, does a couple of chews and swallows. Devastated when they get rid of that one. We have some carrots. And some laughing cow cheese. Maybe I'm being too nitpicky about the whole table etiquette thing, but I don't know. I just, to me, it's just, it's just so of the norm for me. And um, when I see somebody who doesn't, you know, like her, who is sitting in front of a camera and shoveling food in her mouth like a pig, <laughs> I just, sorry, it's just how I was brought up. I've actually never had the laughing cow cheese with carrots, so I wanted to try it. Um, I usually put this cheese, I always have a difficulty. Get a knife like, or something, or really get some sci get some scissors. Who am I? 
Um, an idiot. I usually put this on bagels. Oh, no, she, oh, she, no, she can't. Oh, God. She's, she's garlic and herb. And I usually eat my carrots plain, but I wanted to dilly dally in something different. Dilly dally. Girl, just say you wanted to try something different. Like, it's not cute anymore, Amber. It's just not cute. God. Oh, the sounds. That's actually really good. These little cheeses are only 30 calories per one. I get them from Walmart. Um, it's not with the cheeses. It's actually with... I'm honestly not a fan of those cheeses. They give me headaches. It's like over in the deli area with the... Um, like feta cheese, um, the pre-made pizzas. I don't know. It could be different everywhere, though. I'm going to take a big bite with the veggies. Uh, oh, I'm going to close my eyes. Mm. No. My mom would literally have her eat at a separate table if, if um, she, she ate like this at my house. It's just not pro – I'm sorry. I, am I being too nitpicky, you guys? Let me know because I just don't think it's proper. Like, I just – to solve – you know, I mean, my mom's not, – we're not I'm, We're not like posh or anything. It's just – I just come from a house with proper ta table etiquette. I mean, it's not as strict as it used to be, but still, it's just like you eat with a knife and fork. You chew your food properly, you know – you don't shovel it in like a cow <laughs> or pig so, or any okay. other farm animal. If you guys want to try freshly, message me on my weight loss Instagram, which is linked down below. <laughs> which you don't you use, and you're not go and you're not going to use. I can guarantee you, she's gonna. She's not gonna use it. She's you know a couple maybe a couple weeks from now, maybe a month from now, she's gonna come up with some lame ass excuse as to why she's not gonna use her weight loss Instagram, why she thinks it's not working for her. And it's because she's not making any progress. Actually, it'll send you a link so you can get $40 off. I hope I'm wrong, say, but... It gives me $40 off as well. Oh, of course! It's funny how she didn't mention how it benefits her before. But, you know. Mm. I'm sorry, how is this... Can, how is this content... How is she getting paid upwards to $15,000 a month for this bullshit? Oh, there we go with the I water bottle. Sorry, Even though she has a water filter. God. So the next thing I want to talk about, which is actually funny. So there's this screenshot going around. Because I like to do these Instagram Q&As. And if I can edit the photos into here, I'll show you which I'm not very good at editing, as you guys know. So I'm hoping I can put the screenshots in here. So I like to do Instagram Q&As. And someone decided to Photoshop, which a, which a lot of people are really good at it. Oh, God. They decided to Photoshop me saying something about a bowling ball and a doctor. I have. I actually, the, I actually thought that was actually true because I, I didn't really pay attention to it until somebody told me, and I looked at it more, that it was actually... A, you know, it was bullshit. It was just a, a joke, whatever. But I thought you didn't care what people thought about you anymore. That's what I'm saying. She sits there and tells us, oh, I don't need your validation. I don't need... Excuse me. I don't need you guys to hold me accountable. I don't care what you guys think about me anymore. And I'm not going to, you know, worry about you, what you guys think about me. And <laughs> Okay, girl. no idea but they made a mistake oh i'm sorry or in their photoshop oh you know what i'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry guys i keep on forgetting just give me a minute every time i'm gonna speed this up so i am so sorry if you're gonna photoshop something 
I'd say pay more attention. So if you look at my um, screenshots of the ones that I did, which Instagram saves that um, in an archive, every story that you post, Instagram actually saves. So if you look, the mistake that they made is instead of saying, ask me anything, they put ask. I, I, I'm pretty sure she's only doing saying this and explaining this because she needs to make it, pa you know, she needs content to talk about because she has nothing. <laughs> That's right, girl. You got nothing going on. SS me anything. So that was the biggest mistake on their part. They accidentally messed up. So I did not say something about a bully ball. I can tell you right now. I just thought, honestly, that was the funniest thing I have ever seen. And another thing I noticed about it is that they switched two words, um, like in a sentence, where if you like really pay attention to it, it doesn't make sense. Trust me, I make mistakes in my writing all the time. But when I do Instagram um, Q and A's, I try really hard to go back and reread it so I don't like mess up on anything. And just in general, if you know me, that's not something I would ever say, ever. Um, which brings me to my next topic of discussion. Someone asked if I would sue the people making these fake slanderous screenshots that aren't even real. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't sue anyone, to be honest. Are you saying that as in general or just about the screenshots? Because, girl, didn't you, like, threaten to sue, like, Zachary Michael at some point for something? I don't know. Unless. There's, like, a really valid reason. Um, like, if it's really, really ruining me, even then, I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. um, this is something so stupid that I just... Is she going to pull an Onision on us, you guys? <laughs> How, you know, go to court and then throw out the case because, you know, you have no valid reason to have to, to um, have that case in the first place? <laughs> Sorry. I don't care enough. Yeah. Like, we know you don't care enough about anything. Sorry. Salty, salty Lisa coming out, you guys. <sighs> The things that people will do to make me look bad. I look bad on my own. Trust me. I'm going to eat some of this. God, you have no fucking table manners. God, her, her, uh, her facial question. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm being a bitch. I have like a list of things. It's just going to be like my mukbang topics page. So I always have something to talk about because who knows half the time. This is not on the topic list. But Are you finally going to mention the whole Norma thing? Norma thing, whatever. I heard there was some more recent receipts about with Norma and Misty or something like that. Um, I'll have to look it up though. I haven't really looked into it though. But I saw I saw it on my recommended. And I just didn't feel like watching the video. But oh my god, Becky and I did not get home until two a.m. last night. Okay. We had a whole like date day slash night moment it was so fun we went to the movies um we saw Gretel and Hansel which was really good I love the creepy parts um I don't want to give anything away but there was a part where I was like oh that girl cute she was like this like gothic girl with, like this long um black hair yeah <laughs> she was cute and um Am I the only one wondering how she's able to fit into a movie theater seat? We went to Olive Garden and Dana and Destiny actually um, I'm surprised I'm surprised she didn't um, film it. So we went over there for the first time um, really late after like the whole date they live about an hour away, which is a lot closer than they used to live. 
the use. I'm having like difficulties with this, so what I'm gonna do is. You stupid cow. If you would just use a fucking knife and spread it on there like it's supposed to, then it would work. Like, are you that dumb? <laughs> um. <laughs> they usually live about an hour and a half away, which makes a really big difference. But I was in the car, like in total, just between like the whole day. Mm -hmm. I was in the car for about four hours yeah we were out for about 12 to 14 hours so out of that time i was in the car for like four hours maybe no i'd say a little bit over that so when that happens i used to swell being in the car anyways but now that oh I'm my god i get really swollen my lymphedema becomes hard as a rock and i know probably no one wants to hear that like This is so freaking amazing, you guys. Dude, just, you know, even I, I sped, even with sped up, she still, like, eats too, too fat. Like, I'm sorry. What am I saying? It's just, oh, God, her eating is, she's just, no manners. I usually get two of these in my order. Because I don't want to I think even once I got three. I usually go for the uh, 12 a day, so I can eat them for lunch and dinner, or I get the 9 a day. 9 a day. <laughs> I don't know what the hell she's talking about, but whatever. 9 a week. What? So, next thing I want to talk about is... My sleeping schedule, you guys, I used to fall asleep at noon and wake up at 5 p.m. At noon, my whole day is wasted. It's very, I wake up like every 30 minutes. I used to think there was something wrong with me. Like, I was like, why am I waking up so often? Sleep apnea. I really thought there was something wrong with me. Sleep apnea. Turns out, as much as my body does not want to sleep at night, it also really does want to sleep at night. Like, it needs to sleep at night, you know? Oh, my God. So now that my schedule is fixed, I go to bed at, like, midnight. And I wake up about 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. So it's, like, about 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. It just depends. And I sleep like an actual baby the whole night. I don't wake up at all. I think maybe once. I have a bad habit. Like, this is – I don't know why I do it, but I've been doing it since I was little – but oh my god i'm so bored i have a very bad habit of waking up and seeing if the people near me are still breathing i don't know why i do it so i'll see if becky's still breathing while she's sleeping and then i'll see if twinkie's still breathing while she's sleeping because that's who sleeps with becky and twinkie um i'm freezing i got into my heater on by itself is really good it's just like eating cheese by itself don't judge. Um, oh, sorry, girl. Party here. I have a little bit of everything. Else <sighs> that is Literally so boring. Everything. I'm so bored. So, it's like a weird thing. So, I'll wake up about once a night to do that. But, you guys, I sleep like a sound baby. I'm just like... Sitting up, you mean. I really did think something was wrong with me. But what it was was... Sleep up. I was waking up so much through the night because... I was sleeping at the wrong time. My body was just like... What are you doing? Which makes sense. So something else I want to talk about is I want to start dancing again. It's an active sport. I love dancing. So much. And like I used to be in dance groups. I would choreograph dances to do in talent shows. Choreograph. Who am I? I'm going to say choreograph. Chor chor I would make up dances. <laughs> um, and it was just... When I would perform in front of people, I honestly, it was the most exhilarating feeling I have ever, ever had. And it was pure happiness and joy. And it's so fun, so, so fine, <laughs> so hard to find something like that. Why did she go to dance school? Just like 
free. So why don't you go to some form of dance school? I used to, I don't know if anybody knows if I already said this or not, but I used to do ballet for a couple of years um, until I had a bad accident with my back. And I made it to point, but I went to a ballet conservatory. And they had, like, different forms of dance there, too. Like, so what? And, it, I mean, well, it's kind of expensive. The, um, I think it was a hundred and some dollars, I think, to, to take ballet classes. I'm not sure. Um, but um, I had just, like, literally made it to point. And we were, like, learning how to use the point shoes. And, and I remember learning how to... You know, so, you know, adjust them properly and stuff like that. And um, then I had a really bad accident and I couldn't do it anymore. But had I have not had the accident, I would have probably become professional. I was also also in like the band, you know, band and stuff like that into music as well. So, but that's kind of interesting. I didn't know that she uh, did dance. I'm just surprised that, her, that she didn't... And, like go to dance school free and just like it is one of the most amazing feelings dancing was my passion 100 percent point blank period and like now obviously i can't dance like that um there is a YouTube what type of dance like Marshall, she's not is it like hip hop dance? Is it so many types of dances? But I honestly, in my in my case, I did a lot of stuff. I did gymnastics. I did ballet. I mean, my my parents had us in everything, you know. But I really did love ballet, though. I know somebody who went to the same school as me, who actually went on to become professional. Um, she's retired now, but she. I think she was ahead of me, though. Like. She was a couple years ahead of me. I kind of started a little later than most p kids, but, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was hard, though. But I, there's still certain things that I do um, that are ingrained in, ing ingrained in me when I did ballet, whatever. Everyone's heard of him and his cute little girls on the side. Um, they do pretty easy... I wouldn't even say to moderate. They're pretty easy. Um, dances. And I low-key want to try one today. Because I have the stamina now. And it feels so good to be able to say that. Yum. <clears throat> Y'all. I gotta be honest, if I was eating this by myself, which I would have ate this very meal by myself, if I wasn't filming this, I'd be gone in five minutes flat. And I'd be so- Because you're a pig. You have no self-control. But since I'm sitting here and talking to you guys, it's fulfilling me and it's taking me a lot longer to eat it, which you're supposed to eat kind of slow. That's like the rule of thumb, ain't it? Mm-hmm. So thank you guys for helping me. Because it helps you digest your food properly. I mean, if I ate like her and like fast like her, I would be like sick all the time. Because that's one thing I had to teach myself um, was to eat slower drink slower because um, if I ate or drank too fast then my gas you know it would just upset my gastroparesis and I'd end up just basically throwing back up anything that I just consumed wow who would have thunk it um but yeah I want to try dancing again I've built up my stamina a lot I'm gonna give you guys a little tea. A little freaking tea. Hold mm. on. Wow, she's actually chewing a little bit more. 
So she knows that she she knows how to chew properly. So why hasn't she done that? That's what I'm saying it. Like, it's just... I filmed horrid hauls, and it was the try on hauls. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> God, she's starting to sound. She's starting to sound like Foodie Beauty during her mukbangs. Especially during the try on part. So annoying. There's a lot of editing because I could not breathe. In between, oh my God, it's almost it's almost like comically embarrassing. In between each dress or shirt or sweater that I would try on, this was me. <gasps> Oh my god, my back! Oh my god, I can't breathe! Oh my god! Oh my god, I think I have a pain in my my arm and my chest. No, okay, it wasn't that extreme. It was, like, I didn't have a pain in my arm and chest. That's, my back would hurt. I'd be breathing that hard. So I got an order in. Really? You're making fun of that? You know there are people that actually have issues like that? And it's no joke, Amber. You're really making fun of that? Like... This just shows her mentality. That's you know I I, I don't know I'm, I'm if I'm being um if I'm right about this, but um there was somebody that said who has been like watching Amber since like the beginning whatever that Amber made fun of disabled people a couple times. I can believe that. I can believe she would do that. Because she's an intolerant, ignorant narcissist. A torrid. Um, I think it was like two days ago. And I didn't film a video. I just kind of kept it to myself and did my own little try on haul by myself. Because you probably couldn't fit into half the clothes that you bought. Um, or all of them. I think I was on the fifth dress. And I was like, wait a minute. I'm still standing. My back doesn't hurt. And I'm breathing just fine. And I started crying. I'm so ridiculous. I literally started crying. Because that no no like I'm talking I could not physically could not do that six months ago I could barely do one like outfit try on haul <sighs> try on hauls were very very hard for me very hard um that's just supposed to show how losing weight Moving more can change your freaking life. And I know a lot of people are like, that's so stupid. I'm gonna, a lot of no, it's not stupid. It's actually accurate, Amber. My God. She, you know, I she doesn't understand people, to be honest. <laughs> this is the whole problem. This is the whole problem in a nutshell. Amber Lynn just does not understand people. Compare themselves. Like, when I used to have Twitter, someone sent me... Didn't she have Twitter for, like, five seconds recently? Just to clap back at somebody? A screenshot of their, um... It was, like, their Fitbit or their Apple Watch steps, and I think they took, like, 14,000, and they're like, how about that, Amber Lynn? Let me see yours. And I'm like, are you really comparing yourself to someone who is 500 and... How, how long ago was that? It was when I had a Twitter. See, so yeah, I was 570 pounds about. And I was like, are you really going to compare yourself to someone who's 570 pounds? Go compare yourself to, like, an athlete if you're taking 14,000 steps. Like, good for you. Like, honestly, good for you. But what? Comparing yourself to me is silly. And yet, That's like you're saying you're still 500 and some pounds. 20 some pounds. 25. And uh, you have good stamina. I mean... She kind. Of, she just kind of like totally doesn't. Her argument doesn't stand up because she's saying 
that because she's moving more, even at her weight, she has more stamina. So, and then she's saying, you're really going to compare yourself to a 507-pound woman? Like, <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're moving more and you're it, because your your body is more used to it. And it's not going to matter what weight, what size you're at. Somebody could be thin and, and, and have problems. Like, just, <laughs> just, oh, my God. She's stupid. She, did, she just totally, basically destroyed her own argument. <laughs> Comparing Michael Jordan to a one-year-old toddler, obviously they're going to play a bit different. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I'm going to be like... You literally just destroyed your own argument, girl. Okay. I mean, if you want to, like, compare. And it was, it was, it wasn't like a comparing, like a friendly comparing. Um, she was very condescending. And I saw her reply to another tweet that was really rude. So it was more so, like, showing off almost. And I was like, honestly, I'm not the type of person that, like, celebrates other people's victories. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're not. That's the thing. You're not. <laughs> you're a jealous, narcissistic, egomaniac. I have a hard time believing that. I'm sorry. This plate completed. Satisfying? No. I like when I watch mukbangs and the people actually finish their food. That's satisfying. Um... Yeah, I am proud of other people's victories. I don't know if for her that's a victory. She I'm gets off on that. I'm sorry, I'm being a bitch. Like, I don't know. I was just confused. I was like, really? <sighs> Who knows? Just sure. get a Who fucking knows? knife, but, my um, god. Oh my god, we're, we're going down to the nitty gritty. I have to have my last pee and hair. Oh my god. Ew, I mean, god! She's just such a... And enjoy the food more and savor it more. She's such a bad eater. Bro, you're so gross, girl. And I usually eat. I think I eat all my meals alone, to be honest. I do, because Becky eats at different times than I do. Um, she usually only eats like once a day, and then later on, she'll have something small. And our schedules are a little bit different. She's still sleeping right now. Um, uh, if anyone's curious, the calories on this are less than 600. They're like, I don't know, five something. The meatloaf meal all in itself was 430 calories, which is not bad, sis. Not bad at all. So I still have a lot more topics and my little mukbang topics thing and I'll keep adding on. And yeah, I'm excited. Like I'll always have something to talk about. I just feel like maybe I'm a little boring. So like I'll make sure to like even kilter. The mukbang is just your excuse to fucking binge. Let's just call it what it is. It, maybe some tea in one with something boring also. <laughs> I don't want the whole video to be like boring. I don't know. Maybe it is. You're boring. You're naturally boring because you don't have a personality. <laughs> Anyways, I am so swollen. So I'm gonna drink Sorry. tons of water. I'm gonna try to keep my calories at a certain level. I'm so swollen, you guys, because I, you know, overeat, but I'm just gonna call it water weight. Which means less sodium. And I'm hoping to. Now you're worrying about sodium again? Okay. I'd say within two days, not like, not be as swollen. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have crazy hair happening, as per usual. But I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I see this. I'm like, ah. <laughs> What? Okay, so what did we learn in this video? Not very much. Just more of her just... <sighs> bullshit it's just bullshit you guys okay so i guess this is gonna be amber lynn reed for the foreseeable future because you know apparently we're being punished you know because 
we don't appreciate her as much. Girl, bye. Like, seriously, I, I'm, I'm over it. I'm so over it. Anywho, um, I'm probably going to come out with my weight loss journey video this weekend. I'm sorry I didn't do one this weekend, but I just... I just haven't been myself, you guys. I've been a little depressed, and um, it happens sometimes with fibro. It's just I've had a really rough time, and I've gained quite a bit of weight back, and I'm not happy about it because I know I've been overeating a little bit. And um, I noticed that when I, I'm not making an excuse, but I noticed that you know whenever I'm off of antibiotics for quite a, you know, quite a bit, I get this, like, couple days where I'm just hungry all the time, and it's because I learned from my doctor that that'll happen, because antibiotics in their nature are appetite suppressing, and um, when you have an infection, your appetite is suppressed, and it's just annoying to me because I feel like when I get into a good track and I'm doing okay and then all of a sudden it's got this cord. All of a sudden it's just like I get this urge just to eat more. I'm just it's, I'm just annoyed. And um, it was it's just with the depression, with the the, the bad fi the fibro flare ups that I've had, it just hasn't been pretty and I just I, I didn't want to document it because I just I feel like my weight loss channel related stuff, you know, journey related stuff is dead. And I, I want to, my next video, I want to sh show more stuff, like me working out. I have, you know, I, some um, at-home workouts that I want to show and stuff like that. And, you know, I just want to spice it up, you know what I mean? So, I will also, I will be talking more about my depression and stuff like that and what's been going on. But I also want to add, I, I'm going to try to, I'm hopefully going later on today, because it's like 5 o'clock in the morning, but, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, it's just not, been, I just haven't been great, I'm just going to be honest, I just have not been great, but I'm trying to get back to the gym, it's just, there's been a lot of drama, and then just, sometimes I just, just the depression can just really get, you know, get to me, and it just takes me a while to get out of that funk, I just, this is, you know, fibromyalgia in a nutshell really sometimes you just it can make you just get really depressed and I'm I'm just so over it I really am I'm just anywho um I hope you guys enjoyed this video like share subscribe comment below um yeah that's just pretty much it so yeah sorry <laughs> I'm tired all right